What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, hi, my name is Rochelle. I like to make thrifting and fashion videos along with a little bit of beauty and just sharing my life with you guys over here on my little corner of the internet. For today's video, I'm going to be going over everything that I ended up purchasing when I was on vacation in Los Angeles from a few weeks ago. I did just really quickly want to note as well that I'm sorry I've been really bad with uploads. You guys, I've just been kind of burnt out on YouTube for like a while now and it's feeling... I don't know, not so much of like a creative outlet. I haven't had like the want to want to film and I haven't wanted to push it. Thanks for being patient with me uploading. I have still been thrifting a lot. I just haven't been filming a lot. I am going to a music festival. So I think I'm gonna try to document my hair, makeup and outfits every day for the music festival. It's kind of like a reggae kind of music festival. So I should be wearing some fun outfits. So maybe I'll try to do that if I'm feeling up to it and have time. Also, sorry if you guys can hear my dogs, they are snoring on the couch right behind you guys. Okay, so I went to Los Angeles a few weeks ago. My husband Everett's company is based out of Los Angeles. So luckily we get to go, you know, once every quarter or so. And I love to just take time there for myself while he is working and I do a lot of shopping and just having some alone time. So I have a bit of a routine now that I go frequently. I like to go to this shopping center called The Grove. It's just kind of like an outdoor mall area that has some really fun, fancy department stores. And I love walking through there and getting a bunch of in inspiration. And then right down the street, actually within walking distance is a Goodwill. So I get my inspo at the mall and then I head over to the Goodwill. I think that that's a great tip for people that maybe are new to thrifting or have a hard time picking things out that are maybe on trend or if they are not feeling like they know kind of like what direction their style is going, I think that it's great to walk through malls or department stores that are your favorite brands. I personally love going into Urban Outfitters, Zara, Aritzia, Anthropology, those kind of stores and just kind of seeing what's in and new when it's fresh in my mind and then going straight to the thrift store. I also like to take pictures of like mannequins that I think are cute or just different outfits. So actually while I was in Los Angeles, I took a bunch of photos and I figured I'd just screen record. Maybe I'll put it right here on the side of my phone screen of everything that I ended up finding when I was in Los Angeles that I thought was interesting that I was gonna kind of try to look for or that I thought was like a new trend. Let me know if you kind of like me going over the things before getting into thrifting as well because I don't really normally do that, but I can do that in the future if you guys think that it's helpful. Okay, so this is kind of what the Grove looks like. It's a beautiful outdoor mall area. Lots of walking, very pretty, lots of really fun, fancy department stores. So first up, I went into Aritzia because we don't have an Aritzia where my local mall is. And I noticed a lot of repeating kind of trends. So this was a really cute one shoulder top and it does have quite a bit of like that ribbed knit material as you guys can see there, which I think is really cute and on trend. Also with this dress, similar material and also similar kind of like crisscrossy details. So the colors are very neutral but the details of the cuts are kind of what's standing out to me. I also not noticed a ton of pleather and colored pleathers all over the place and in all different types of garments. So they had pants, they had jackets, they had shirts, they had skirts, like everything was leather or vegan leather, pleather, especially at Aritzia. And I will say that noticing their leather type is very silky, buttery, smooth. You know how some fake leathers feel really plastic-y, plastic kind of like I don't know, Forever 21 or like those kind of stores, I feel like they don't feel quite right. Aritzia does an amazing job with the buttery, smooth, I thought it was leather, I'll say that. So they had a lots of caramel colored jackets and some pants there in mostly neutral colors. This was a really beautiful knitted cardigan. I thought it was really cute with kind of that polo neck and the deep V cut, lots of knit, lots of neutrals. Again, with the pants, these were from Wilfred, but you can also see the gray, white, and brown kind of like jackets or even like button-up shirts and jackets in the background there. They had really cute athletic wear, lots of blacks, whites, and 
I will say I've noticed a lot of kind of almost like skims style athletic wear lately. When I was in Forever 21, I noticed a lot of really like neutral, basic athletic wear. Not a lot of like that crazy print that was big a few years ago, which I personally like this style so much more and fits my personal aesthetic. And then this one as well. And this was something that I talked about in one of my recent videos. And it is the like one piece workout suit. Girls wear them to work out, but also just to run errands. And I just think that they're really cute, but they are rather expensive since they are from Aritzia. They have the long, this one's like bell bottom. But they also have short, tighter ones and short ones as well. And I recently thrifted one. It's not from Aritzia, but it's like the same kind of style and I'm excited to see if I end up getting wear out of it. I also noticed that they had kind of like the workwear cargo pants, which you guys know I've been talking about for like six months now. And I just really loved the pockets on these ones. They almost look like a Carhartt with the side little pocket, like a painter's carpenter style, painter style. Those were super cute. And I was actually tempted to get those, but they actually just didn't have my size in store. That was the last pair that they had, or like two pairs, and they weren't my size. Knits, this was a really cute form-fitting dress with long sleeves that I thought was beautiful. Again, with the high neckline and the rib knit sleeveless, or almost like vests. And then this was cute as well. It's kind of like a crop top. It kind of reminds me of things that I see at Urban Outfitters as well. It just that deep v-neck kind of a crop top and you can see some of those leather skirts even in that bright color of pink over there on the side and then this was in a different shop so i went into asos and theirs was actually the exact opposite of what was going on in aritzia aritzia had all the knits and the neutrals and then asos had like all the bright crazy fun colors i don't know if this is because they didn't transition over into fall yet and it was still kind of like summery stuff going on or if they just have a totally different vibe. I think both are really fun and I could find pieces in both of them, but I naturally am just a neutrals girl or like muted color. But I just thought that this was really beautiful. A lot of like really fun, funky prints. Like look at this dress with like the swirly. I love those types of prints. It's kind of like 70s, very cute. Lilac color, pink color, greens and oranges. Really, really pretty. This skirt was actually so cute and not something I normally would gravitate towards because it's so bright, but I just really like that color combo, the purple and the red together. Again, kind of like that swirly 70s thing. This was actually also extremely gorgeous. This reminds me of something that would be in anthropology. It was like a button-up duster dress, but it was in this really interesting chartreuse color, and the print was very silky. I'm not sure if it was silk, but it was very shiny and reflective. And then up close, it had kind of like a fern print in there, but it was kind of embossed. I thought it was gorgeous. Like, I would probably wear that piece or check it out. This is an also another beautiful floral coral. This is also another very beautiful color combo together with that fun floral print some more psychedelic -y looking things. And I notice a lot of puff sleeves in ASOS, like in shirts and dresses, lots of tears in the dresses. And then here is some Converse. I love Converse and Vans. I absolutely love these. These are called the High Star, high, high Star Run, High Run. I don't remember, but I really like these kind of like grippy bottoms. You guys know I love a chunky shoe. I also like the platform ones that are behind it as well. And I have been looking for some black high top Converse for quite a while now. So I was thinking about just breaking down and buying them. I noticed in ASOS a lot of cherry print things just scattered around throughout different brands. Like lots of cherries here and there. I also, I know these are ridiculous and I probably couldn't wear them anywhere. But absolutely love these Steve Madden super chunky mule heels. I love that they have the square toe. Everything about this shoe is perfection to me. I just don't really have that many occasions that I could wear something like that too. If you're not new here, hi, I'm Rochelle. I love Zara. I went into Zara and had a good look. I noticed a lot of polka dot print. It was everywhere and I thought it was really cute. They styled some of the mannequins really cute. Oh, this was so cute. I actually really loved this top. I really like that. I know I was really into the Kelly green, but I'm still loving kind of like that avocado sage green. The greens are still going for me. This is a really fun, interesting belt. It was gold, bronze. It was such a statement, very big and chunky. 
You guys know I like metal belts, so we'll be looking for those at the thrift. This was a nice little neutral top, $22. I feel like I could find something at the thrift store similar, but I really like just the cut and the shape of that top. Here are some other really cute shoes, like the ones that I saw earlier from Steve Madden. I will say I think the Steve Madden ones are a cuter mule, but you know, I like these as well, I'm not gonna lie. Sorry you guys, this might be a long video since I'm going over all of this and I'm gonna show you guys the haul because I did some damage while I was in LA, so if this is a 30 minute long video, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Noticed a lot of denim in Zara. I love all the denim like jumpsuits, dresses, skirts, untraditional yeah. denim pieces like crop tops and things. This top is very cute with the chest detail there and the basic neutral color with the ribbed knit. Also liked this little vest. I think vests are going to keep going on. We saw them last year and they're continuing to be out in shops and some little wide leg pants with cute little details of pockets button fly knit two-piece sets loved the pants like the bottom little ruffle of those pants are so cute i did end up trying those jeans on and i feel like they just made me look short if i wore a heel it might be better but they were a no-go and then i tried some other pants on that i'll show you and then we went over to goodwill so let's show you guys everything i ended up getting while i was in goodwill all right you guys i'm gonna be quick with just going through all of these things i did end up finding these brand new converse high tops which is something that's been on my wish list almost just bought these full retail price on my trip and so when I saw them at Goodwill, I was like, you know what, they're expensive because they are new, but they're cheaper than retail and I was gonna buy them. If I was gonna buy them uh, new though, I probably would have gotten the platform ones that have the chunkier sole, but since these ones were $30, I figured I'd buy them from Goodwill. I also ended up getting this cute little bodysuit right here. It is a little tank top with this tie up front. I wear it for the rest of summer and then start pairing it with cardigans into the fall and winter time. Originally from Windsor, and I will say, and it was $4.99. This is something I will note in LA, or at least at that Goodwill, it's much more expensive than my Goodwill. Like my Goodwill locally would probably price this at $2.99. But you know what? I find cuter stuff at these Goodwills, I think. Next up, I found this really beautiful dress right here. Kind of fits more of that ASOS colorful thing going on. This was originally from H&M. I did spend $9 on it, which I think is a little bit expensive, but all of their dresses were $9. The chest has this opening right there. It is a high low, which I don't normally love, but I think that maybe I could make it work with some really cute shoes. But honestly, what sold me on this is the print. I just think it looks like a beautiful watercolor scape and I really liked that. Ended up getting this cute little crop top sweater. Years, year of ours, I'm not quite sure. And this is one of the ones, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but this is one of the ones that has the kind of like short neckline so it only goes right here in the front and then you can see your top underneath it. I've, I've seen a lot of those in stores lately and so I don't even know what you call that. Like, it's just kind of like the neck tie, the neck area. This one was $5.99. This is from the brand The Crypt. Just a stretchy little zip up. This was very similar to a lot of those like black and white workout kind of things going on when we were in Aritzia. Kind of like the skims material, very like sleek and tight form fitting neutral colors, but like cute cuts. You know, I thought it'd be good to work out in and it was $6.99, a little expensive in my opinion. And this Zara top, you guys know I love Zara, it's a Zara knit, it's red with black and white stripes. I love a stripe. I don't have that much red in my wardrobe, but honestly, sometimes when I wear red, I feel like people compliment me when I'm in red. So I think I should wear more red. I was in Zara, it didn't have a lot of like super colorful pieces. A long time ago, I did a collaboration with Princess Polly because I love their clothes. I literally love Princess Polly's style. I think they're so cute. They are just rather expensive, especially for my like thrifty budget. <laughs> but whenever they wanna work together, I love their clothes. I had a sweater from them and it's my favorite sweater ever. It's like super cute, very flattering. I have it in, it's like a white cream colored and I found it in black. And I know this looks so basic. It's just like a little knit button down front 
crop cardigan but you guys i don't know what about this sweater it's just like so flattering on my body even though it's a basic it's just a staple it's a favorite <laughs> honestly if it was in white i would have gotten it in a backup for the one i have casherel yes i am fragrances they had like 10 of them when i got in there and so i was like oh okay there's so many of them that i won't have to buy it right away i can wait and get it before i check out you guys someone went in and bought literally all of them they were new with the box and then these two didn't have their box so they were like off to the side and the person bought all 10 of each kind like 10 of each one they're probably reselling them because they were a really good price they were only seven dollars each and these definitely retail for probably like 50 60 especially since they're the big ones this one's kind of like dusty chocolatey. I like it, although I feel like it needs to be kind of like, I feel like it's gonna be a good mixing perfume, maybe with like a vanilla. This one's a little bit more floral. It's also nice, but I think it has more of like a tangerine note or like a bit of a citrus in with the floral. I think I, I need to like mix them both with things, but they smell great. I have this thing for airbrush clothing and I have a feeling that we're going to be seeing more and more of it. I've been seeing it here and there. So I thrifted one that said Rob and Deb and it's like green and pink. I love it. I don't know who Rob and Deb are, but look at what I found you guys. <laughs> Ruby. I love the colors. I love the name Ruby. I think it's so cute. I love that it's airbrushed gonna be my new alter ego is Ruby. I just think it's super adorable, comfortable, and I'm here for the cute airbrush stuff. I know that they sell them on Etsy, so I'm thinking about getting like a tote that maybe says like gone thrifting or like thrift queen or something like that, like an airbrushed type something. Maybe a trucker hat, that would be cute. <laughs> I forgot, I haven't been telling you guys the prices. This little Princess Polly was $7.00. This Zara knit was also $7 and the Ruby sweater, I forgot how much it is, but I've already worn it a few times. So I think that it was probably like seven or $8. But this super cropped hoodie, it's kind of like an off white cream color. This one is just forever 21, but I liked that it wasn't like white, white. It's kind of like a buttery cream off white again with the crop. These are just Shein and I don't normally thrift Shein, but I really loved the cut of these so i got them this is probably how much they were on shein seven dollars but like i said i liked it they have the crisscross waistband in the front that i recently realized that i love but they also have these cute little like tie up sides on the edges and so hopefully they're flattering and comfortable i've been into the sequin bag you guys i've got several sequin bags some of them i haven't quite shown you in yet they're in like a two haul video coming up but I like my gold bags I like my sequin bags this one is so cute this one was also seven dollars it's silver most of mine are gold or black I have a black one I have a gold one now I have a silver one to match silver outfits I just think it's so cute with like silver jewelry it's a statement it's fun it's flirty but it's like not too serious you know I just think it's like great for a night out oh my goodness I got so much stuff I forget how much I spent at Goodwill. It's probably like a hundred and something. Probably like $150 since I got those $30 Converse. Okay, this shirt, I have no clue what brand it is. It's black, it crisscrosses, and then it kind of has these long ties that you strap around the waist a few times and do in a bow in the back or in the front or whatever. I liked that it had this nice crisscross detailing. The material seems really stretchy and nice, kind of like that stretchy soft rayon knit. This one was also $7. <gasps> you guys. Okay, we're coming close to the end of the thrifted stuff. Um, I got, we'll save this for a second. I got this long sleeve bodysuit privacy please i have no idea what brand that is i liked that it had the deep v cut and it had the long sleeves most of my bodysuits are short sleeves so i noticed that i could start picking up more long sleeve bodysuits this one was also seven dollars okay and this you guys i literally saw these at the mall they were like i forget how much like 120 or something maybe even more from wilfred these are the Aritzia black leather pants that I saw when I was in Aritzia, literally down the street. I saw them in Aritzia and then I saw them here. 
at Goodwill, I could notice the same pleather. I, you know, I saw a lot of fake leather at that Goodwill, but this one, when I felt it, I was like, ooh, this is a nice brand. I thought they were actually a real leather. They have cut the tag off of them on purpose so that you don't know what brand they are. But these are the Aritzia ones because if you look at the little buckle right here on the front, it says Wilfred on the buckle. And look, they're still new. They just took off the little tag that's attached on this safety pin. Brand new at Aritzia. They were so expensive and I got them at Goodwill for $7. So you can literally go to the mall and then go to the Goodwill and find the exact same thing that is currently at the mall being sold and then go to Goodwill and buy it for $7. So if you guys aren't a thrifter, I hope that convinces you to try it out. <laughs> Save you guys some money and look exactly the same. Your friends can spend all their money on full price and you can look just as good as them, but with money to spare. That was everything that I ended up picking up at the Goodwill. These are all the things that I ended up purchasing not at Goodwill. The first one I got at Iguana Vintage, which is a vintage shop, so this is still second hand. I went there last time, I got a cute Bob Marley shirt that I'll probably be wearing to my festival that I'm going to. A pepper shirt which is one of my favorite reggae type bands but this time I ended up getting this Led Zeppelin shirt it was only $15 so I think that's pretty good for vintage shops but yeah I got this Led Zeppelin shirt because I love the graphic and some of the t-shirts are just the ones that are like at Target you know they're not actual vintage but this one looked a little bit more vintage because of this tag right here it doesn't have like the target -y tag. It has this crumpled up little tag. Do I listen to all that much Led Zeppelin? Not really. Do I know the main Led Zeppelin songs? Yes. Doesn't everybody? Am I a poser if I'm not like a full Led Zeppelin lover? I don't know. You decide, but I'm gonna wear it. <laughs> I was wearing a Guns N' Roses shirt yesterday and honestly I only know the popular Guns N' Roses songs that are played everywhere, you know? These are the things I got at Zara. I've worn these several times already. I love them. I think they're so cute. They are a Zara jean. They come with this fun little belt at the top here. The butt pockets are cute. They have the little flap, which I think is adorable. And then the side has double cargo pockets on the side. So they're kind of like a cargo-y style, but they're not super loose. Like the denim itself is kind of like a tighter fit, but it has the cute cargo pockets and I love them. I have all of the basic little Zara tanks, except for I didn't have this color. I think I have this in like white, black, pink, green, an orange maybe I forget I got them uh, I got other ones earlier in the summer but I didn't have this really beautiful sage green dusty green I think it's so cute and these are relatively affordable I think that they're like ten dollars or less and this is another repurchase I feel like if you buy something and you really like it and they have other colors that you like you should just get it I have the tan khaki version of this pant I saw it in the green color so I got it in the green because I already know that I like the pants and this is like a neutral you know so I had to get it Sorry they're so wrinkly. They have been folded up for like two or three weeks in my room. And then the side pocket. It's basically similar to the denim jeans, just in green. And then I have the beige ones. You guys know I love Zara fragrances. They have some really good ones. Sometimes they're hit or miss, but most of the time I like them. I got Energetically New York. This was a collaboration with Joe from Joe Malone or Joe Loves. I would say that this gives similar vibes to Santal 33 from the Labo. Kind of like a sandalwoody, woody kind of unisex fragrance. I definitely think men could wear this. It smells great. I also got Zara White. This one was $20. The ones in this packaging, I feel like don't last quite as long as some of the other ones. Almost like a floral but clean kind of scent. This is like a girly girl that got out of the shower and has like really beautiful bouquet of flowers in her aesthetic bathroom. I feel like this one's a, a crowd pleaser. 
an easy blind buy. I think it's beautiful. This would be like a nice gift for someone. It's floral and clean. It almost smells like, not shampoo, but kind of. And then the last one I ended up getting is one that I wanted and then I didn't pick it up and then I thought about it later. So when I saw it again, I was like, oh, I've been thinking about that one. So I ended up getting it. It is called Orange Honey from Zara. I think that this is like a summer scent. I don't know if it's gonna be around very long. It does smell like orange blossom and honey. It's sweet, not gourmand sweet, kind of like florally sweet. I think it's great. I think I'll mix it with a vanilla. Zara, $17, great layering fragrances. I'm sorry if this video is super, super long. Um, if you watched till the very end, thank you so much. I appreciate you listening to me just jabber on truly means so much to me. If it was me, I probably would have clicked off by now. Um, if you did watch till the end, comment down below. Let me think of a question. Comment down below something that you've been really enjoying eating lately. I know that's so random, but I feel like I go through these like little, uh, like waves of eating certain things. Everett and I are on a heavy salad kick right now. We've been really getting into salad making breadsticks, like pizza breadsticks in our air fryer. We get the pizza dough, then we make the air fryer breadstick and it's delicious, Mwah. All right, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry I didn't do a try on. This would have been the longest video ever to make if I did a try on as well. I've already been talking for like 45 minutes straight. So I love you, bye. Oh, wait. I stopped filming and then I realized I didn't show you guys this. I went to Brandy Melville. I hate that I like Brandy Melville because I don't like their whole like one size fits all thing. Like I think it's, yeah, no, that whole thing is cringe, but I do like their styles, which is so annoying. Like it's very like neutral. Which is cringe. Oh God, I hate that it's I like it. It's cringe that you like their cringy style. No, their style is cute. It's like, like neutrals. I hate their business ethos and I won't spend much money there but I couldn't walk away without this I'll thrift Brandy Melville like their styles but I did buy this not secondhand because I just thought it was so cute they have this whole thing with what are these little like cute angel cherubs I forget what it's called it totally reminds me of like my childhood I feel like these used to be around all the time I like the ones with like the angel and the devil cherub but uh, they didn't have one with that, but they have like shirts and sweaters and I just think they're so cute. I love them. I've been looking them up on Poshmark to try to like get another one, but I got this little cute tote bag with the two angel cherubs. I like totes. That's it. Okay. I think this was like, it was $8. Not too bad. Those cherubs are so cute. Remind, remind me, cutie pie? What are they called? Cute, uh, I don't remember. Comment down below if you remember what these little, little babies are called.